everybody, this is JT Sports and Match, you guys, with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about who are the Baltimore Ravens, what players should they target, and this year's upcoming free agency, which is only a couple of weeks away. Now, before I begin, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, because I upload NFL videos, XFL videos, and college football videos daily. So, players the Baltimore Ravens should target and free agency. So, the Baltimore Ravens' biggest needs, they need some wide receivers, they need a solid linebacker, and they need an edge rusher. So, the first player that I have is Emmanuel Ogbaugh. Now, the Boston Ravens have $26 million in cap space, I believe. And Emmanuel Ogbaugh, he's a guy who I don't think is going... I think he's going to demand a pretty okay contract, but not a big break-the-bank contract like a guy like a Jadavion Clowney or somebody will ask for or something like that. So I think edge rusher... Emmanuel Ogba will be a pretty good addition to the Baltimore Ravens. Now, in 2019, he got traded to the Kansas City Chiefs in the offseason. He had 32 tackles, five and a half sacks. So, with his injury that he suffered in Kansas City, um, I think that will kind of lower his price. I still think he's going to demand a pretty reasonable contract, but I don't think it's going to be something like a Jadavion Clowney where he's going to break the bank or, think like, or something like that. So, I think Emmanuel Ogba to the Baltimore Ravens would be a really good fit. The Baltimore Ravens, I think one thing their defense is lacking is a dominant one-on-one -on -one pass rusher. A pass rusher who can win those one-on-one -on -one matchups and cause a lot of chaos. And that's something that I think the Baltimore Ravens really need. And I think Emmanuel Ogba can give you that. I think he's a guy who can end up giving you eight, nine sacks. I don't think he'll end up being a double-digit sack guy. He may have one or two seasons that he ends up finding a way to crack double digits. But I do think he is a pretty good pass rusher that he can give you eight, nine sacks consistently on a year-in and year-out basis when he's able to stay fully healthy. And I do think he has the potential to be a pro bowler as well. So I think Emmanuel Ogba would be a pretty good pickup if the Baltimore Ravens were able to sign him in free agency. Another player who I think the Baltimore Ravens should target in free agency is linebacker Darren Lee. Now, Darren Lee last year in the offseason got traded from the New York Jets to the Kansas City Chiefs. And a lot of people were expecting Darren Lee to have a pretty good part in the Kansas City Chiefs defense. But he didn't really have that because he didn't really touch the field that often. And I don't think it was because he wasn't good. It's just that the Kansas City Chiefs, they had a lot of good linebackers. Now, in 2019, he only had 32 tackles, zero sacks. But I think Darren Lee would be a good pickup for the Baltimore Ravens is because, one, he's not going to demand a huge deal. It's not nothing that's going to break the bank. And I think it'll be a pretty reasonable contract considering the way that this Baltimore Ravens cap space is working. I mean, they had $26 million in cap space the last time I checked. So, I mean, it's not a lot. But, I mean, it's pretty reasonable. You can work with that. You get a couple of good additions, a couple of good pickups, a couple of good players. And I think a guy like a Darren Lee could end up being a really good addition to the Baltimore Ravens because he's a good coverage linebacker, which is something that Baltimore Ravens fans have been complaining about is how terrible their linebackers are in, pa in pass coverage. A good example of that is Patrick Owasu, who really disappointed me this season because I was expecting Patrick Owasu to have a breakout year. He didn't do that. And also a common complaint around Ravens fans is that Patrick Owasu who is not really good in coverage. Well, with Darren Lee, he's a really good pass coverage linebacker. He can match it with tight ends. He can also play his own coverage in the middle, lock down that middle and things like that. He's a pretty good tackler. But one thing that you don't get out of Darren Lee is that he's not really that good when it comes to getting pressure on the quarterback. Now, he's a guy who could probably have about three, four sacks, but he's not a guy who's going to make his living getting pressure on the quarterback. But I do think he would be a good fit because something that the Boston Ravens are lacking is a good coverage linebacker. And that's something that Darren Lee can give this Boston Ravens defense. Now moving on to the offensive side of the ball is the wide receiver position. Let's start off with wide receiver Robbie Anderson. Now Robbie Anderson is probably going to be one of the most targeted and sought after free agents when it comes to the wide receiver position. I think he's going to demand a huge salary. So the Bunch of Ravens have $26 million in cash space to work with. Now... If they do give Robbie Anderson a big contract or the contract that he would demand, now he's not going to be one of the highest paid wide receivers, but he's going to, he, he's going to demand a pretty solid salary. And if the Buster Ravens do give Robbie Anderson this salary, I don't think they would be able to go after some of the other um, free agents on this list, such as a guy like Emmanuel Ogba. I still think you could get a guy like a Darren Lee. But I don't think you'll be able to get the guy like Emmanuel Ogba or somebody of that caliber. So if you do pay Robbie Anderson, you're not going to have a lot of cap space to try to get some other um, 
good, high-quality player such as a guy like Emmanuel Agba. But what Robbie Anderson does is he's the polar opposite of Marquise Hollywood Brown. Um, Robbie Anderson is a really good deep threat. He's one of the best deep threats in all the NFL. 52 receptions, 779 receiving yards, 5 touchdowns. I mean, Robbie Anderson, I mean, this dude has potential to be a Pro Bowl caliber player. He has potential to be what Deshaun Jackson was in his prime days back in Philadelphia, back in the days of Michael Vick and people like that. I think Robbie Anderson with the Baltimore Ravens is basically the polar opposite of what Marquise Hollywood Brown is. And the Baltimore Ravens need to have another wide receiver, another good outside threat that can help Lamar route because Lamar Jackson, I mean, his run ability, we all already saw what Lamar Jackson was able to do with him and Marquise Hollywood Brown. But I think a big reason why this Baltimore Ravens offense hasn't lived up to the full potential it can is because they don't have another outside wide receiver that can create a lot of separation and be a good deep threat, and that's what Robbie Anderson gives you. And Robbie Anderson on the opposite side of Marquise Hollywood Brown, if Marquise Hollywood Brown continues to develop in the offseason, this offense could be really, really scary. Then you also got Hayden the Hurst, you got Mark Andrews. So, I mean, this offense, you might as well call this offense unstoppable if they do end up paying Robbie Anderson what he wants. And I don't think Robbie Anderson, like I said, I don't think he's going to be a wide receiver that ends up becoming one of the highest paid wide receivers in the NFL like that. But he's going to demand a pretty lefty salary. But I think it will be pretty well worth it because Robbie Anderson, he has speed on the outside. He can create separations. He's one of the best deep threats in the NFL. So, I mean, him and Marquise Brown are basically polar opposites of each other. Now, obviously, Robbie Anderson is better than Marquise Brown. But, I mean, they both have the potential to be Pro Bowl caliber wide receivers on the outside. And when you look at the tight ends that the Ravens have and their ability to run the ball, I think Robbie Anderson would be a really good piece. Now, I think another wide receiver... If the Baltimore Ravens aren't able to get or don't want to pay a guy like a Robbie Anderson, there's wide receiver Demarcus Robinson. Now, Demarcus Robinson, he's going to get a pretty good contract, but I don't think it's going to be as big as a guy like uh, A.J. Green or Robbie Anderson or something like that. And Rob Demarcus Robinson, he's another good wide receiver who is very good when it comes to catching the deep balls down the sidelines or having big plays in the passing game or something like that. Now, he's not as fast as Robbie Anderson, but this guy, Demarcus Robinson, is pretty good. He's pretty fast. He's a bigger and physical wide receiver than Rob Robbie Anderson is. He has a little bit more meat on his body and things like that. And he had 32 receptions, 449 receiving yards, four touchdowns in 2019. And he started off the season really well he had a very fast start to the season but he kind of fills it out because the Kansas City Chiefs just have so many weapons on the offensive side of the ball so I think the Marcus Robinson would be a pretty good target that the Baltimore Ravens could go after if you don't want to pay a guy like a Robbie Anderson a big contract or something like that the Marcus Robinson he's going to demand a pretty okay salary but I think it's nothing that really will break the bank like a guy like a Robbie Anderson will so I think the Marcus Robinson will probably be a more realistic target Target for the bunch of Ravens on like a guy like a Robbie Anderson, which Robbie Anderson is a good fit, but I just think the Baltimore Ravens might not want to pay a guy like a Robbie Anderson the kind of salary that he's going to demand. So I think that Marcus Robinson is a little bit of a step down from a guy like a Robbie Anderson. He's still a pretty good deep threat. He still will give Lamar Jackson a very good, reliable outside target, and he will compliment Hollywood Brown as well because of what he's able to do with the ball in his hands and also his ability to make the big plays because he does have speed to stretch the defense. So I think Marcus Robinson will be a pretty good fit with the Baltimore Ravens because he is a fast wide receiver on the outside. He fits well into the Baltimore Ravens system and I think he'd be a pretty good fit if the Baltimore Ravens don't want to go after a guy like a Robbie Anderson and don't want to pay Robbie Anderson the kind of salary he would demand. And the last player that I have that the Baltimore Ravens should target in free agency is Des Bryant. Now I know a lot of Baltimore Ravens fans still have a little bit of a grudge on Des Bryant because he, the Baltimore Ravens offered him a contract a few years back, he ended up declining that. But hey, if you're the Baltimore Ravens fans, here's what you got to look at, right? Des Bryant is going to be fairly cheap, fairly inexpensive, right? He's going, he's not going to demand a salary over Demarcus Robinson. He's not going to demand a salary over Robbie Anderson. And Des Bryant's a guy who is known for being one of the better deep threats in the NFL for the past decade with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, he's been rumored to go to the Dallas Cowboys, but that obviously doesn't make no sense because that Prescott doesn't throw the ball deep that often. When he does, he's fairly inaccurate. And also, that Prescott simply doesn't have the arm. Lamar Jackson has a way better arm than 
a guy like a Dak Press guy and Lamar Jackson can is known for taking shots down the field, right? When you look at when you get the run game going, then you have the play action pass game. I think Dez Bryant could be a fairly good fit in this Baltimore Ravens offense. And it's not because of the speed. He doesn't have a speed like a guy like Demarcus Robinson or a guy like Robbie Anderson. I know Rob I know Ravens fans are gonna be like Dez Bryant is old and things like that. He doesn't have the speed and things like that. But Dez Bryant is still he still could be very good at catching the 50 50 balls. And Dez Bryant was never known for being a burner. He was a guy who can catch Catch those 50-50 balls, those contested catches down the sidelines. That's what separated Dez Bryant from the rest of the wide receivers this past decade. He was a good deep threat, not because of how fast he was, but how big and physical he was down the field. And the good thing is for the Baltimore Ravens, you could give him a one-year prove it deal, which would be fairly cheap, and you can see what he could do. I still think Dez Bryant has a couple of good years left in the tank, and I think with a guy like a Lamar Jackson, Dez Bryant loves Lamar Jackson. He's always commenting underneath his Instagram posts and things like that. And I think he'll be a fairly good fit in his Baltimore Ravens locker room. And I think he'll be a really good fit in his Baltimore Ravens offense. Now, like I said, he doesn't have the speed that some of the other guys on his list possess. But he's a good wide receiver when it comes to his ability, his skill set to push the ball down the field, be a good vertical threat. Not because of his speed, but his size and his athleticism, his ability to catch those 50-50 balls and those contested catches down the field. So let me know what you guys think about my play, my list of who the Baltimore Ravens should target in the free agency down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content, and thanks for watching.